I know it's been a while since we last spoke, but something has happened at the mines I've been supervising. No, trust me, you'll want to make time for this. You're looking for something big to keep your museum in business. Well, there's something big on that island. Real big. So many friends. And even my own son are still out there. If anyone can bring this thing down, it's you. It'll be the biggest attraction your city's ever seen. And you can help an old friend. Yes, meet me on the docks at sunset. I hope you're ready for a little monster hunt. Charles. Half train, half giga spider from hell. We've been planning his demise for some time now and have nearly everything in order. Just a few people to meet and places to see. Simple errands, you know. <laughs> yes, sir. Welcome to Erinirum, the island where miners dig their own graves. Stay close. Charles isn't the only thing to fear around here. There's a train shed at the top of the hill. One of the train operators was killed early on by the beast. So his old engine should be in there. If we can get to it, it could be an indispensable tool on our journey. Stay close. We don't want to be exposed for too long. <laughs> It's locked. Not to worry, we can still find a way in. There's a small shack up the path that might have a key inside. Take this map, I just marked the location on it. See if the key is up there. And... Hey, that's what I'm talking about. She's an oldie but a goodie. I'm going to inspect the train's exterior. Why don't you take a peek inside, see what we got to work with? Well, the exterior is a little rough, but everything looks to be intact. That gun you were looking at wasn't on here when I was evacuated from the island. But it's... We can light up Charles with it and take him down before he even sees us coming. Are you ready to take this thing for a spin? Yeah, baby! We're coming for you, Charles! Careful! Don't let the gun overheat! You must be the archivist that Eugene told us about. We're happy you came to help us out of this predicament with Charles and that madman Warren. You know, that old train of yours will need some major upgrade. There are some metal scraps in my barn that you could use to improve. Here's the key to the barn. It's just up a path, but I'll mark it on your map anyway. Eugene told us we'd have a newcomer soon. I suppose that would be you. There's some scrap metal in the balcony room of my house that you could use to repair and upgrade your train. Here's the key. And although the balcony is right behind me, I'll just mark it on your map anyway. As a side note, talk to anyone around here, and uh, they'll do whatever they can to help. Anyone not wearing a mask, that is. Check out the balcony, and take whatever you can use. Good luck with everything! Well, hello, darling. 
I'm making a fresh stew with ingredients from my very own swamp. But I don't have any meat at the moment. I smell a carcass on the island in the swamp, and if you wait over there and bring it back for me, I'll pay you some scraps. Although, you'll need to be wary of Barry, the swamp monster. Keep an eye out for him splashing around, and don't move if he gets close to you. As long as you stand still, he's as kind as a kitten. What a delicacy! Here are those scraps I offered. Have a safe night. Look, kid. I know you're supposed to be some fancy pants monster hunter, but you can't earn my respect without making yourself useful. One of Warren's goons dumped a locked chest in the yard last night. After beating on it for a few hours, I didn't break anything but a sweat. I got some lock picks, but I don't know how to use them. Here, take them. If you can get that chest open, you'll earn my respect. And I might just give you some scraps to help improve your train. <laughs> well, Fancy Fingers here got the chest unlocked. <laughs> That's an odd-looking piece of junk you found inside there. A letdown, to be frank. You earned my respect, so here's some scraps, like I promised. The monster hunter has arrived, I see. This is no ordinary hunt, mind you. We've already tried fighting Charles, but he retreats into the wilderness if he is sufficiently harmed. We believe there may be a way to get Charles to commit to a mortal battle, however. Dispersed around the island are three eggs, locked in the island's three primary mines. Our theory is that putting these eggs in the temple at the center of the island will provoke Charles into a fight to the death. Unfortunately, the mining company owner, Warren Charles III, has placed armed guards inside each mine to protect the eggs. There's an egg in the mine just down the rail. Here's the key to the mine. I've marked the entrance on your map. I made a little flamethrower as an addition to my spider train home defense plan, but as you can see, it is slightly, uh, nearly cooked myself alive in that shed as I was testing it. Shoot, dang. I would love to save the shed, though. If a uh, flamethrower somehow still works after the fire dies down, I'd assume you're the monster hunter that folks have been expecting, so uh, a weapon like this could come in handy. Using the water tank to put out the fire. Pure genius. Woohoo! Here, take old bug spray. Cause of this chaos. I don't want to see it anywhere near here again. Shoot that. Welcome to Araniram, Archivist Museum person. My apologies. I'm not the best with introductions, but I don't believe either of us are here for socializing. I just so happen to have a little business opportunity, if you're interested. A very special little box of mine is in a rail car in the nearby canyon, but the goons have set up a camp to protect that area, so be careful. Find the blue box and bring it back to me. I'll give you some scraps as payment. That's the exact box. Now take these scraps and skedaddle. I need my pickles! I ate the last jar of pickles I had in my house. And there's only one jar of pickles left on the island. My secret jar. 
jar of pickles. Locked away inside my pickle cave. I would have gotten them hours ago, but I lost my pickle cave. Someone else on the island might have some locked pickles. I mean, lock picks. And if you can bring me my special jar of pickles, I'll give you all the scrap in my house. My goodness, the others actually convinced someone to come help us. I'm so glad you came, but I simply cannot stay any longer. This island is too much for my nerves to handle. I've brought all my belongings here so I can leave immediately when a boat arrives. Although now that I think about it, I did forget my journal at home. Could you bring it to me? It's a dangerous journey for sure, but you might manage with that train of yours. I'll give you all the scrap metal I have. Just please, bring the journal next. Thank you so much for bringing my journal. I would hope, for your own good, that you didn't peek inside. But, um, here are those scraps I promised. Paul asked me to design a new weapon to help you hunt Charles. And using my extensive demolitions experience, I made this rocket launcher. I've been wanting to see Warren's empire crumble for a long time. So building this puppy was a hell of an opportunity. Now that you're here, I need a few minutes to remove some safety features. While I'm working on that, why don't you bring that box of rocket ammunition back here from inside the bunker down the rail? The launcher is in complete working order, so I'll let you take it from here. Oh, and take good care of it. After you're done, I have a few people to visit with it if you catch my drift. I I'm sure Eugene told you all about me, so I need not introduce myself. Uh, n n name's Greg, by the way. In case you haven't heard already, Warren, the mine boss, is keeping three monster eggs locked away. We're unsure why he wants to protect the eggs. If they hatch, they would surely turn into monstrous creatures like Charles to prevent this. We, we need you to steal all three and, and use them to bait Charles so we can destroy him. Uh, one, one of the eggs is, is in the north mine. Uh, Here's, here's the key to the entrance. We haven't met, but I've heard lots about you coming to help us. I have a favor to ask. The breakers on the side of the lighthouse need replacing. I was recently attacked by Charles, so I'm unable to do it myself. The breakers are in the nearby supply shed. If you go get them and repair the lighthouse, I can try signaling passing ships to come help us. Once you finish, I have some spare scraps to give you. Fixing the lighthouse will definitely increase our chances of being spotted. Here are those scraps I promised. Say, you're that monster hunter. I must know, do you have any experience with ghosts? Someone or something has been pinning exactly 16 drawings to lampposts and I always collect and burn them, but as I was looking for them last night, I began hearing strange noises and seeing strange things. I only found half of them yesterday because of the commotion. Could you go find the last date and bring them to me? Thanks for bringing me those papers. Here are some scraps for your help. Hey, aren't you the new guy who's come here to work for us? You must be. There's something at the top of these towers that I need. And don't worry, I won't make you work for free. I'm a nice enough guy to pay you. You see, Mr. Warren never told anyone from the mainland about his mining operation. He, he never even reported the cave-in. He hasn't paid us since then. Our living quarters are atrocious, and I'm far overqualified for the pay I'm supposed to receive. To top it all off, 
None of us miners ever received copies of our pepperwork. But that doesn't affect my subordinates as much as someone with my status. I'm gonna sue the pants off of Warren once I escape this island, and I need those files to prove that he breached our contract. He keeps all his files at the top of these towers. I could explain how I ascertained this, but I doubt it would make sense to you. Problem is, he erected these towers years before we ever started mining, and now they're falling apart. I could scale them myself, but since you're here, go sniff around for those files. <laughs> As a reward, you can have one of my useless pieces of scrap. I bet you'd love to have it. <laughs> You look like a monkey climbing those towers. <laughs> I sure am glad I found these files. Here's that scrap you were begging for. Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> the Archivist. In all your radiant glory, Paul entrusted me with a key to one of the mines containing an egg. But before I give it to you, I have to warn you about something. There's an ancient shrine on the island, a pyramid of sorts, with a curious prism located at the top. The prism seems to have been designed for one purpose, to destroy monster eggs. Three slots are carved into the prism, which perfectly fit the eggs. When fully loaded, a massive beam of energy is emitted, seemingly drawn from the eggs themselves. The mutineers hope this event will lure Charles to a mortal fight as he comes in defense of the eggs. Now for the real warning. Charles has the ability to absorb energy from the burst, strengthening and enraging him. We saw it once before and he may become even more dangerous this time. However, it's not my place to oppose, despite the danger. So, here's the mine key. Once you have retrieved all the eggs and the key to the shrine, we might just be able to end this hell. So, the fabled hunter has finally arrived. You know, my late husband built a gun to help fight Charles, but Warren's goons stole the barrels and took him up to their camp. Bob was such a brave man. Much for you take what I have left of the gun and steal back those other parts. You can put it back together to use it. Just do me one favor, will you? If you do end up using it, name it Bob in memory of my honey. You're the archivist my father told me about. Although, I'm disappointed to see that he chose to stay on the mainland rather than return with you. Not to say that your help isn't appreciated, but we could have used his aid as well. If you haven't already heard from the others, the mine boss Warren is protecting dangerous monster eggs that could lead to catastrophe. While our main plan is to summon Charles into a duel and fight him to the death, we've devised a perfect trap as a precaution that may help defeat him. Go attach these remote explosives to each of the support pillars under the wood bridge out there. Then, meet me back here. That's the tallest and weakest bridge on the island. So if Charles ever crosses it, we can blow him sky high. I'll be on standby to detonate the charges, but it's still up to you to summon and fight him. Here, take this. Once you think you're prepared enough, you can break in and fight the battle of a lifetime. down slowly and lay flat on the ground. You'll hurt far too many people if you follow through with whatever you're planning. No! No! You fool! You do not know! 